Greetings all. It's the Devious Monkey here. All right, I'm kind of figuring this all out while I'm sitting here outside of Great Neck Park, and I decided to come out and play while I still have maybe an hour left of light. So I got the entire Weeble 2 setup ready to go. I have the Weeble 2. I have the Transmount Transmission Transmitter AI hooked up. I got my A7C on there. And I have this magic or uh, master eye controller and I have no idea what I'm doing, but I am playing and it's kind of cool for what I've found so far. And what I've found so far is that if I just start randomly pushing buttons, I'm starting to learn how to use it. So check it out. There's the setup and here's this. Now I've got, as you can see, you can see the screen, the screen's there, the screen is also there, although it's really dark and I haven't peeled the plastic off yet. But if I do this, you see nothing is happening. But if I press F1, now, as I'm moving the controller, it follows my movements. And I'm trying to get this all in the, in the screen whilst I'm just standing here. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, then if you hit F1 again, now it stops and it doesn't do anything. Then I just hit the trigger twice and it sets it back to where it's supposed to be. All that being said, that's fun. And that's basically why I got this thing so I can do that. But I am definitely going to have to sit down for a few hours and figure out what buttons I need to push to change shit and what I can do to control the camera. One thing I haven't found anywhere and I haven't looked all that hard is compatible cameras and lenses that allow me to control everything through this master eye, meaning turning on the, uh, you know, like recording and doing this, that, and the other thing. Now, the one thing I found, especially last night, was that I had to plug this damn thing in and charge it for a long time. It was like at zero. And it says that, that if you use up to a 15 amp or 15 watt charger, that it should be done in like two and a half hours. It, no. I had this thing plugged in all night before it charged. So it was dead as a box of rocks, but it's at hundred percent now. And also the gimbal is charged at hundred percent. And I know that my Atomos batteries, those big ass batteries that I can put on the back here, I know that that was at hundred percent. So I got a lot of power to deal with and I'll have fun for as long as I can. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna play around. So let's go do that. Okay, kids. Like I said, I've got my Zoom Weeble 2. It's got the transmitter AI on it. It's all connected into my Sony a7C, and I do have it on the tracking mode, which I have to do by basically putting it in a selfie mode. So you, you push the button three times, it turns around, then I get in, into frame, press the trigger once, and then it draws a box around my melon, because that's what I've got in the screen. And then it will just follow me now. And I already did extensive testing on that and showed you when I was out in my yard running around like an idiot. And it basically then keeps track of me. One thing I haven't figured out, well, I haven't figured a lot out, but I do not know how to use this, uh, change the screen brightness on this if I can. And it makes it a little bit tough because it's really hard to see this screen. But I have figured out how to connect this master eye to the transmitter AI, and then I know how to hit F1 so that I can use this, you know, by turning, controlling, and all that kind of stuff, which I'm not gonna do right now. And that's about it. That's all I know how to do. Now I have tried to push the buttons like the the you know the the aperture and the exposure compensation ISO and all that shit, and it doesn't work. So I'm guessing that one, I don't know what I'm doing or two, it's not compatible with this camera. I definitely cannot control, uh, there's no zoom or anything on here. And, and that's simply because of the fact that it, it's a 20 millimeter lens, there is no zoom. I don't know if it, it has clear image zoom or not. Again, I have to look all that up and see what is available to me, if I can do that at all. If it doesn't work with this camera, maybe I have to use the A7R4, who knows? We'll figure that all out at some other time. So I'm looking directly into the sun right there, as you can see, and it's blinding. 
So I'll blind the lens now. Ooh, it's really vibrating. And the other thing is that I need to be careful having this on the monopod and I don't have it extended out all the way because it's not that sturdy of a base and if this thing starts shaking, it could end up just like chucking it down. So other than, than pushing on the button and getting this to be able to control, I don't know what else I can do since I don't have follow focus. So this is kind of useless. And I also don't have any control over any of the functions of the camera, including starting and stopping recording, which makes this kind of pointless at this point right now. But again, I think it's just a matter of me not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Not so much that this can't do it. I'd have to think that the A7C is controllable. There's no reason for it not to be. And I have what I think are the proper cables in there, but I don't know. I'm gonna walk over here and we're gonna see how far this keeps me. It's still following me. I don't think it's following me anymore. But let's see if it picks me back up when I come back in close enough. And I'm gonna say no, it didn't. So I'm gonna get over here, I'm gonna push the button again. Okay. I had to turn the tracking back on. Obviously I can't walk all the way to the other side of the gazebo too far away and it's probably too dark under there compared to being out in the bright contrasty sunshine but I had to get my tripod feet. Okay, so this is just a quick little test. I wanted to see how this thing worked, see if it connected and all that neat stuff. Now, there's one other thing that I'm gonna test and I'm gonna shut this thing off. Here's something that I saw when I found a video that talked about this controller and hooking it up and working with what they've got going on. And that is this that if I turn on the ZY Play app, what this guy did is that he said, okay, I've connected, it works like a charm. We've had no problems, it hasn't disconnected at all, we can do everything, it's fantastic. And what he did different from what I've been doing, rather than choosing the Weeble 2, he actually scrolled past that and connected to the Transmount connector. Now, when I connect and I hit, boom. Okay, so now I'm on here, and now I'm gonna see if I can cancel this and do it again. Okay, so now I have disconnected from that and I'm on the, the Play app and now I've drawn a box around my melon and now it's following me. Okay, and so far so good. So we're gonna count this because a lot of times what was happening is this is disconnecting after like 30 to 45 seconds, vibrating, vibrating, but that's because I was connected to the actual Weeble 2, not to the transmitter AI. And now that I'm connected to the transmitter AI, this might actually work a little bit better, but I'm not sure. So far so good. I haven't lost connection yet. And that's really neat. Man, I think this guy's a genius. I'm gonna have to mark him down on the video so that you know where to go to get this info. Yeah, I may have to rethink having this thing on the monopod because every time I, I walk and that thing goes around the handle, it starts to it starts to vibrate. Okay, I think that this really got down to a matter of operator error. And I have said before that it's, it's highly possible that, that I could have been doing something wrong. Now, it isn't that I've done something wrong. It's just that I didn't know what to do that was right. And that is, instead of connecting the ZY Play app to the gimbal, you connect the ZY Play app to the transmitter AI because now I've been I've been going for well over the time that I used to go where it disconnected every 30 to 45 seconds and it's still working like a champ. So now that means that I can use this app and I don't have to be over here by the camera and all that kind of stuff behind the camera and doing selfie mode and all that shit. All I have to do is pull the app out and now I can do whatever I need to do. Now I still have the red exclamation point up here and it tells me unable to adjust parameter, please reconnect or change cam setting or contact service center. So it still tells me that there's a problem, but I, 
for me, there is no problem because now I'm able to draw a box around my melon or whatever the hell I want to make this track. And it has now been going for probably well over two minutes and it hasn't lost it and it hasn't disconnected from the app like it was doing. So that was the problem. And this is why YouTube and the YouTube community is awesome because there are people out there that actually know what they're doing, unlike Dumb Monkey, and I can learn from them how to do things correctly. And this is a gigantic help to me by being able to use the ZY Play app to draw a box around my melon and get this thing to work so that I can do whatever I need to do. And that's the entire reason I bought this setup. So now, as a single run and gun content creator, I don't need to have somebody over there controlling my camera and controlling the gimbal and doing what I need to do so I can get moves like this where I'm walking around. So all I gotta do is draw the box around my melon, it'll follow me. I can tap the screen and drag a little bit and it cancels that like so. All right, now it's stopped doing it and now I can draw the box around my melon again and we're right back to controlling me. Hell yeah. Okay, so I do not have any control of the camera whatsoever. The only thing I can do is control the Weeble 2 through the transmitter AI. And I'm able to do that with this, the app now, the ZY Play app, and I'm also able to do stuff through the Master Eye controller. The Master Eye controller, in theory, once I figure out what the hell I'm doing, should give me a little bit more control. Now, worst comes to worst, I'm gonna find out that I can't control this camera the way that I want to, and then I'm gonna end up buying a new camera. <laughs> it might get taken care of in a firmware upgrade, or I might actually be able to learn what the hell I'm doing with the ZY Play app now that I said to hell with it when it kept disconnecting. And I can use my Master Eye controller now and figure out how to use that too. And hopefully that'll all work out and I won't have to sell this and buy a new camera or keep this and buy a new camera because that's how excessive the monkey is. But for now, I'm thrilled to death that I was able to get the Master Eye controller to connect up to this stuff and work and, and do other shit that I can't do with the app, and that I was able to connect the app finally to the correct device so that I can do this right now. And I'm sure you're annoyed with me walking around in circles and seeing this gazebo, and I don't need to blather on and say for the thousandth time that, hell yeah, it finally works. So that is all I've got for you today. <sighs> and I'm thrilled. So that being said, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and as always, Forward and up, kids.